on this episode of Carnage. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. It has been one of those weeks. Manny's away doing another job at the moment, so I've been kind of left to my own devices. But that's not to say it hasn't been a busy week. I mean, uh, the Barina got picked up on Monday, the Dodge got picked up on Tuesday, so they're both gone, which means we've got a little bit more room in the workshop now, which, yay. Um, obviously sad to see those cars go, but, you know, we move on. And then, obviously, I've been prepping this to JZ block so we can get that into the Volvo. I basically wanted to get all the ring gapping done, uh, all the bearing clearancing done, basically honing the block. We've done all that. We're pretty much ready to go, except now that the uh, main bearing clearances are coming up are too tight. So I ordered a set of uh, oversized bearings from Golby, so they're on their way from Queensland. So we can have that ready to hook into next week. Well, that was the plan. Um, but we've decided we're going to go to Motorfest. So Motorfest is a kind of a burnout event that's happening over at Lardner Park, which is sort of my hood. And um, I'm thinking, well, you know, what car, what car do we own that does good burnout? Superman does a pretty good skid. So we're going to actually take the Superman to Lardner Park to do burnouts. So I have to prep that next week. So adding a tail shaft loop and make sure it's got the right catch size catch can and all that sort of stuff. Make sure it's right to go so we can go do some skids at Motorfest. So that'll be something a little bit different for Carnage. So that means next week I need to hook straight into that as soon as Maddie gets back so we can film that and film that prep and then next Friday we're going to be scrutineered, doing a practice skid, and then skids on Saturday. And hey, if the 3.8 should die doing that, well, we've got the Stroker sitting there. I don't think it will die though, I think it's a pretty solid motor, and it should be able to do a nice 60 second skid, I don't think that'll be a problem at all. So that's what's going to happen next week, but it's kind of been a real busy start to the year. Obviously we've had Drag Challenge, um, they announced No Prep Kings, just before Drag Challenge, so Street Outlaws, No Prep Kings, they're bringing over 10 of the American No Prep King guys, and they're gonna do match racing against Aussies at four tracks around Australia. So that's gonna occupy a lot of the drag racing side of things for the next month or so, which means a lot of people have canceled or moved their event, you know, like Kenda moved their event from March, which was gonna be right in the middle of No Prep Kings, and moved it to, you know, last weekend basically and it got kind of rained out which is a shame but I wanted to go up there and do it with the Mazda but when they moved it you know two weeks out from Drag Challenge it's kind of like well we're going to be stuffed from Drag Challenge we're not going to have time to prep the Mazda and go up there because I wanted to run the 550 Index class at No Prep King uh, at, at Kenda and uh, that would have been awesome so unfortunately it didn't happen and as it turned out like I said it you know, wind and rain, they copped. So they only got about three quarters of the way through the event. Uh, King of the Street got bumped. I mean, then I'm not even sure. I think they're in, in May now or something, or June, something like that. So they've moved King of the Street way back. Holden Nats has come up, coming up though. They'll be in late April and I've entered for that. Again, Superman. So Superman's gonna have some upgrades and we're gonna be running that at Holden Nats in late April so make sure you get onto that and if you want to come see us do some skids at Motorfest yeah come on out and see us at Motorfest because that'll be a blast as well so all that's happening plus obviously I need to get this 2JZ finished uh, so we can get that in the trial bow and go and run mid nines and then probably the trial bow will be up for sale a few people said oh when are you selling the trial bow if you're selling everything well we're not selling everything but, you know, we're trying to clear the decks a little bit. We've hung on to some of these cars for a long time and it kind of is time to move some of them on, you know. So, Trovo, this engine will go on Trovo. We'll run, you know, mid nines with it and then it'll probably go up for sale. And, uh, yeah, it'll be a good race car for someone, a good serious nine second 235 car for someone. So, 
it'll be a fun car. Um, but yeah, 2JZ has to go in it before that happens. And then obviously we want to run mid eights with the Mazda and then we've got this Lexan, which I want to get into. I have all the parts for, but I keep getting sidetracked with all this other stuff. It's kind of like shiny object, let's do this. Well, we need to really hook into that because all the parts are here. We need to get that 1UZ into the Lexan and do that project as well because it's kind of been, you know, something that has should have been finished by now and hasn't. It's kind of hard when you're doing this stuff in the workshop all by yourself, so it's just part and parcel of doing this uh, YouTube stuff. But yeah. So, yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. Obviously, taxi, we've, um, that's got to be tuned still. Um, I'm trying not to bug Jason too much because I know he's super busy finishing cars, but yeah, we're going to have to get Jason to uh, tune that very shortly so we can go out and run tents with the taxi. Is the taxi getting sold? Um, well, probably not. I don't know. It's, it's just a good driving car, so don't know. We'll decide on that later. So yeah, that's where we're kind of at at the moment. So, as you can see, there's stuff going on, but maybe not everything you want to see because obviously it's really hard to film this stuff and we're doing a lot of prep stuff this week for what's going to happen next week and beyond. So make sure you come and see us at Motorfest next weekend. All right, so Friday is the bump-in day. We're going to go in and do scrutineering, then we'll probably do a skid on Friday, just a practice skid. Uh, it's going to be actually a little bit daunting because I haven't done a burnout in a burnout comp for a long time, so it's going to be interesting. And then Saturday is the big day, so I think it starts at 9am and goes through to 11pm at night, so it's going to be a massive day of skids. So if you're into your burnouts, come out to Larden Park to Motorfest next week because it is going to be huge. I think all the big players are going to be there because there is a Masters ticket on offer. You know, Summonats, Burnout Masters. If you want a ticket into the main show, well, this is a good way of getting it. If you win this comp, you end up with a ticket to the Masters. So that always brings out the big players. Obviously, we're not going to be in the running for that because we're just a six-cylinder and we'll probably be just going for the six-cylinder class and just to have fun. You know, we want to do something that's a little bit different. You know, normally we're always drag racing. Let's go do a skid. Let's going to go do some burnouts. And the Superman does a great burnout. So, yeah, that should be a bit of fun. But, as I said, so we've got Superman in the works, Trollbo in the works, obviously Turbo Taxi needing a tune and it's ready to go. And then the Mazda, so that's going to keep us occupied for the next couple of months. Easy. And then uh, from then, we've got a whole year ahead of us. But until then, you'll see us on future episodes of Carnage.